She truly was a, a testament that we we're all made in God's image. She was a beautiful light that lit up every room that she walked into with her smile. It's those memories the Brooks family are holding on to. Her brother and sister still ask us why they didn't get to tell her goodbye. Following Haley's tragic passing. We went to the parade as a family of five, as a, as a tradition for our family. We, um, it was going to be Haley's first time dancing in the parade. We've gone ever since, every year since her first, first birthday. And we went home that day as a family of four. 20-year-old Landon Glass, the driver of the CC and Co. float, which lost control during the parade in court for a bond hearing on a charge of involuntary manslaughter. We haven't been able to examine the truck yet. We certainly will in our efforts to figure out what happened and why the brakes failed. But the state counters there's no sign of brake failure, instead placing the blame on Glass, saying there was no emergency brake in the truck. That's why, although this was a tragedy, it was preventable. There was one safety device that Mr. Glass did not have in his car, and he knew that he didn't have it on his car, that could have prevented this entire thing. The judge noting Glass's prior citations for driving without an inspection and issuing a bond five times higher than the recommended guidelines. Glass is due back in court next month. I'm Michael Perchik, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.